backstage at the Grammys for 2016 from Tori Kelly to Alessia Cara. From Red Food at GEZ, you can check out all the exclusive content and videos at Live 95.5. Hi, what's the one thing you like to travel with that makes you feel comfortable when you're out on the road? My camera. My camera. Um, uh, laptop. I'm gonna go something not electronic. Uh, it's cause, cause it's hard because you can't focus on like, you can't focus on uh, all the electronics, you know. Well, I like to take pictures and videos. I know, but you know, you gotta have fun other ways. Stop. Okay, no. Uh, headphones, cause you gotta listen to music. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. This is cool. You're awesome, Lisa. This is one of your hugest fans, of course. Oh, and really? she has a Skype question just for you, so. Okay, let's go. Okay, what is your go-to karaoke song? Usually some Biggie, which is a bit of a strange one. Let's hear it. You can't say, you can't say oh, that and not no. do some Biggie right now. No, I can't. That's too much pressure. You know what mine is? Amazing <laughs> grace, how sweet. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> what made you want to get into music? Um, I don't, I, there was no real like pivotal point. It was just always felt very natural to me to do something creative. My whole family is really musical and I don't know, I figured out I could sing really early on and I just ran with it, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for your questions. Grace, you're Thank excellent. you very much, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you Jess? Good, what's it like to be at the Grammys? It's a lot. Yeah, there's it's a lot a, of It's a lot going right on, but it, it's fantastic. It's amazing, the energy is vibrant. What do you do when you're not performing? Uh practicing performing that's all he does <laughs> <laughs> honestly i don't know i don't know i don't have a life behind that i just just stay working on like my next project or or just thinking about my next project or you know that's just what i do work on my craft did you know it's always what you're gonna do this your dream job yeah yeah i did uh my, my dad kind of birthed me into this whole entertainment stuff so it was, it was inevitable man. Yeah, i couldn't man. even shake it jess, uh, Thanks, for, jess for the skype question we love your face Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Beth. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're, doing, we're great. We're doing great. So my question is, who is your biggest music inspiration? Well, I'd have to say I get my most inspirado from Tenacious D and Jack Black himself. But my real life favorite band is Led Zeppelin, which I feel like is a little cliche. Um, what made you want to get into music? I grew up with, you know, my dad playing records in the living room of our house and we would all jam out with the air guitar and listen to, uh, you know, a lot of Halen. We would listen to the tubes. He was really into this 80s stuff, Wang Chung. And I think it was from there. He, he was in bands all throughout high school and college. And I think I kind of yeah. took that from him and said, hey, you know, this is something I want to do. And maybe professionally one day. And I lucked up, dreams come true. Guess what, bro, he's a pro now, man. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for the Skype call. Uh, say bye to Tony. Bye. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. That's it. It's a wrap. 2016 Backstage at the Grammys. All of the exclusive interviews you can check out right here at Live 95.5.